think we should note that <clears throat> this is the only time we've taken for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so we are about to watch the final episode of Game of Thrones. We have somehow made it a week without getting any spoilers. Yeah, it is, the internet's been really bad, and also we we work a lot. What are you expecting out of this? Uh, I think Daenerys is done. Yeah, but the switch happened so quickly, which was like interesting. I mean, I guess she went from where she was like beloved on the other side of the ocean to she's never really been accepted in Westeros. Yeah. I mean, you all already know what happened because that's, that's true. A while ago. That's true. But yeah. Game of Thrones season finale reaction video <laughs> nine days <laughs> after Game of Thrones uh, ended. Spoiler alert we watched Game of Thrones finale today and talked about it. Skip ahead if you don't want to find out what happens. Your... I think they did a great job. No, it was definitely long, a lot of talking. The only, like, point of action was Daenerys getting killed, which was pretty amazing, but that was, yeah, kind of the only interesting thing that happened. But yeah, yeah. it was a fine summary. It was more like the epilogue. Coming from the U.S., we are more accustomed to media centers maybe if you're lucky at the top of a football stadium, more often in a dungeon-esque basement, random pop-up tents, or no media space at all. Here at the Giro, they treat you right. We are staying in this villa for the race headquarters today in Como, which is on this lake. Not too bad. Andrea's not here. But we actually have our own local Como guide. We spent a week here last year for Lombardia in October. These little villas, villas along the lake, they have their own helicopter landing pads. Um, you'll also see airplanes that land on water. Not sure what you call those, float planes flying over the lake because people own their own float planes <laughs> and that's how they get around from lake to lake. Pretty much one of the most beautiful, expensive, and luxurious spots on earth. I think that's George Clooney's house. Hey George. The gang is officially all here. We have David, Grandmaster Videographer I think is his official job title. The maestro. And we got Ryan, the man Fenton. We're here. Conveniently showed up on the Lake Como day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright Ryan, we just got out of the mix zone. Stage 15. Yeah. First ever Grand Tour finish. What are your thoughts? First ever like major bike race. That was awesome. Fans were pretty crazy. I'm watching this little clip we got of Richard Carapaz, all the Ecuadorian fans going nuts, waving flags. It's pretty sweet. Very exciting. Very different. You're not in an arena, so like there's so many people just out. There's a park. I don't know if you can see the view from mountains. The setting is uh, quite different than being inside a track facility, but man, it's it was uh, it was pretty awesome. They had the big monitor there, music playing. Crowd was into it when uh, when the Italian rider Nibbly went went for it. Everyone went nuts. Um, so just like very electric atmosphere at the finish here. So. You're not here to technically work, but you're flinging around that camera pretty quick. Already bringing back the old days. I mean, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but what I, we net? I, I, I yeah, winner, yes. IWF Athletics. That's probably from that last. The the ripped sticker is probably 09. This one's probably 2013 in Russia. So you know, just taking old handy cams out of retirement for fun, and you know, just getting. We got we got access, so you know, we got to get it. you a Giro sticker for that camera now. I know we do. We do. <laughs> Needs to be outfitted. But yeah, it's awesome. Love it. Baki Molema, super happy to see the break making it to the finish today. 
If not, winner should have sent some flowers to a high TV motorbike all day, only 10 to 30 meters in front of the bunch. Really, UCI cycling is this a world tour race. Or they don't care about safety and fair play in Italy. So we Ooh, have we, called out. We have we have seen a lot of this back and forth. Uh, Marco Forporti, who was in the breakaway, was saying that um, you know he wouldn't have gotten caught except for the motorbikes were helping the uh, pack draft so he could get chased down because Rye TV wanted wanted a sprint finish and now we're seeing the the, the reverse. And, and what did uh, our Italian friend say about for Forty's claim? These things happen. <laughs> hey, what can you do? They, they want 50 on either way. And, well, interesting. Are the motorcycles playing a role in professional bike racing? We're going to dig into this with some investigative journalism. And uh, we also had reports um, sort of off the record of, um, or I say, we'll say anonymous reports of riders saying that, uh, other riders saying that the, the motorcycles were towing the breakaway around, but yeah, we'll find out.